If your aiming feels a bit weird and inconsistent in Black Ops 6 and controller, and you feel like you've been missing a lot more of your shots than you normally do, I have a solution for you, because I've been going through a similar thing. It's very simple, and we only need to change two settings in order to feel a difference. So, we go to our settings, controller, and aiming. And we want to click on aiming and advanced settings. The first setting you want to change is set the ADS sensitivity transition timing from gradual to instant, and this way, your sensitivity is going to change from your normal hipfire sensitivity to your aim downside sensitivity instantaneously, which is how it was in previous Call of Duties. And the second and most important setting you want to change is the aim response curve type. This is set on standard by default, but most players have it set on dynamic because this used to be the most overpowered one in previous Call of Duties. But for Black Ops 6 specifically, you want to change this to linear, and I'm going to explain why. The main difference between these three types of aim assist is how wide the margin around an enemy player is for which you actually get the aim slowdown and aim assist, and the rate at which the aim assist changes as your aim moves away from the player and towards the player. In order to visualize this, we're going to freeze the frame here. So for dynamic aim assist, which is the one that was more widely used in previous Call of Duties because of its strength, this is a much more precise aim assist type. So the margin around the enemy player for which you get the aiming slowed on an aim assist is relatively thin, as you can see over here. And the actual aim assist strength is not directly consistent with how much you move your right stick. Now, normally, this would be ideal in previous Call of Duties because a thin margin of aim assist around the player would allow experienced players to flick from target to target much more easily than with an aim assist type that gave you a wider margin. But in Black Ops 6, where the movement is so fast, where just by slightly pushing your stick, your player is going to start sprinting to the right, sprinting to the left, sprinting backwards. The slide is faster than previous Call of Duties. We have the dolphin dive, which takes you further away and in any direction that you want to go. So this precise aim assist makes it so when the enemy player starts moving quickly, you're going to lose your aim assist strength and your slowdown near the target. So that's why your aim assist is going to feel very inconsistent and you're going to feel like you're whiffing your shots many times. Now, the two advantages we get with linear aim assist is firstly, the margin around the enemy player for which you get the aim slowdown and aim assist is wider than for the dynamic type. So even when enemy players start moving around at high speeds, it's much easier to track them with this wider aim assist because your crosshair is not going to accidentally move out of the aiming slowdown margin. Also, with linear, your aiming speed and strength is directly proportional to how much you move your R3 stick. So you're going to have much more consistent tracking and aiming with this setting on. And finally, standard, this is for players who are just starting out. So it's basically an even wider margin of aim assist, but this makes your aiming feel much stiffer. So if you're at least a bit experienced, choosing linear is the best of both worlds between standard and dynamic. There's also this setting over here if you expand the aim assist curve slope scale. So this basically affects how intense the aim response type curve itself is going to be. And you can change this from 0 to 1. I found that for me, around 0 0.10 is where I get the best aiming. But I think this is more of a setting that you need to figure out on your own and see what number fits you the best. So try changing your aim assist to linear and let me know if that works for you as well. Because for me, it made a huge difference. And I've noticed that I'm hitting many more of my shots than I was before when I was using dynamic. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, and peace.